Welcome to Inside the Huddle. I'm Mike Joseph for the Lafayette Sports Network and GoLeopards.com. It's great to be back. Obviously out a little bit under the weather, but feeling good right now. And I got a chance to travel down to Penn to watch the Lafayette Leopards really struggle offensively. And that has got to change. We're four weeks into the season. Obviously, they got the big win early. But a game that was definitely winnable against the Penn Quakers down at Franklin Field. Got to put some more offense on the, uh, on the board. Got to put some points up. What that'll do is obviously take some of the pressure off the defense. The thing way I think you're going to see Lafayette now possibly with another quarterback at the helm is to get the ball to J.Y., Julius Young, a guy that can... Just do it. I mean, he's got eight, ten catches sometimes, and all of a sudden he's got one. He's got two. Got to find a way to target. The best thing for receivers is having soft hands, having those hands that are strong at the point of attack. Go up, attack the football. You can see he can do that. Targets as well. Got to have at least ten to 15 times, number three has to catch the ball. Well, how do you do that against the Bucknell defense? The Bucknell defense has always been soft in the flats. When they bail their corners, drop a safety in, those corners are out. Got to take advantage of all of that area from 12 yards and under in the flats. Also, off of your play action, got to be able to get the ball into the middle of the field. So, if you take Julius Young and you always set him to the weak side and you go 3-1 on the backside, you should get a lot of single coverage, which means you can get your slants inside, you can get your one-on-one -on -one takeoffs, you can get all your quick game to the outside. The other thing I think you can do is take that kid and put him right here in the slot. Find a way for him to get on the worst defender in the secondary, whether that's the slot, whether that's a backer, bringing him inside, having him run anything inside here, but find a way to get 10 to 15 targets for Julius Young. That will open things up for Stewart, open things up. We saw Kerosene with five or six catches this last week, all because if you roll coverage to three, it should open things up. But if you take him in a single position on the line and you can take him and may put him in the slot, now you effectively change the defense. What are they going to do? Are they going to come down, bracket inside, outside? Normally Bucknell puts that safety outside number two and this backer has to come to the edge of the box. So very often you're going to have an ability to get number three or somebody in the slot effectively. No Joe Gillette last week. Hopefully we'll see him this week. But the hands that Julius Young has, the targets, and then blocking downfield, that has to be better by all the receivers. If you're going to run quick game, you got to stalk block, you got to get in people's faces. Give chances for that ball to come out quick. Cannot have 22 sacks in four games. Can't happen. Ball's got to come out faster. The one way to do that is to get the ball to JY. Julius Young, one of the best players in the league. We'll see you Saturday.